Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Saif and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily use Transact to manage your own store. So let's get started. First of all you can create your account from here. However, I'm just going to log in my account. And now I'm going to use Google. And I'm going to pick my account. And here we are. So basically, this is how Transact looks like. So in order to access on most of its most of its features, you can go to all modules here and click on it. Then you will see a left menu which will pop up in front of you and you can access on its features. So basically, the first item is home. Here you can find tutorials and helps uh, and help guides to help you if you faced any problem dealing with your own account in Transact. Next tab is the sales and purchase, which can help you to organize your own sales and more. So by going to create account, uh, create document from here, you can see that you can access many, you can create many things like purchase order, service order, order confirmation, service confirmation, invoice, and ad hoc invoice. So basically you can create any of these. For this tutorial, I'm gonna create a purchase order from here. So basically, you can create your own supplier first because of, of course you will need a supplier to create a purchase. So you can add a new company from here and you can fill all these, all this information or you can just simply proceed with a dummy supplier. So by pressing on this, it will create a dummy supplier for you, for your purchase. So now you have details about your buyer, your supplier, your delivery, location, place of supply, and primary document details. So here you can um, edit your primary document details. For example, let's name it purchase, order one. Here, you can also up update the date, update the amendment, update the delivery date, the store. You can also download these da this data as an Excel sheet or bulk upload data to the website here. Here you can add the items. So let's see for say for example, I will add raw material one and I will choose the quantity to be 100 and the unit is in kilogram and the price per kilogram is 150 Indian ruby. And here you can also adjust your tax or you can just leave it blank. You can also add more items from here and you can add extra charges from here. You can also add an attachment, additional details, comment and attach signature. So once you are done, you can see the total amount here. So you can save a, and save a draft or save and send. I will just save a draft and go on next. Now here is your draft purchase order. You can see it here and you can see the total amount here. You can also see the signature here. However, I didn't customize the signature, so you will find it blank. Now, since you are done creating your own uh, first purchase order, you can go to uh, sales and purchase again. And here you can find your purchase order created successfully and you can also find the status here so this is basically a draft version you can also find some other purchase orders which are received or not even dispatched you can also filter your own purchases based on uh, these criteria like transaction type goods and services status and tax you can also find the cancelled uh, purchase purchases from here once you are done we can go next to the inventory and explore it as well. Here in your inventory, you can find all the items or all the products that you can sell. So basically you have here the item ID. Also you have the item name, item category, and you have the current stock. So basically we have 200 items or 200 kilograms of raw material number six. We have 20 kilograms for material number five and so on and so forth. And here you have the default price per one unit. So basically 
150 Indian rupee here is just for one kilogram of raw material number six. And you can also find more um, elements by scrolling to the right. You can explore them all. You can also add a new item from here. So basically you will be able to um, insert the item ID, the item name, let's say for example, uh, raw material six or seven, because we have six already. You can choose whether it's a product or a service. You can choose whether you are buying or selling this uh, item. You can also choose the diameter of measurement. I will choose kilogram. You can choose the item category, finished goods, for example, or raw materials. You can choose the current stock, let's say 100 kilogram. You can choose the default price per kilogram. You can also uh, insert uh, your HSN code or any tax information. Once you are done, you can press on save or save and add new. Let's press on save here. And it has been successfully added to your inventory. Now let's move on to the next item, which is production. But this feature requires a free trial, um, a demo, I mean, or subscription. So in order to be, to be able to access it, you can just click on create new here and it will ask you to see pricing or activate free trial. Since this is a beginner tutorial, I will just activate the free trial and now it will take some time to activate all these features. So I will be back for you in a second. Now we have successfully activated the free trial. So basically here you can access now the production discipline. So let's press on create new here. And here you can find all the items that you need to fill. So you can fill the item ID, item name, document series. You can um, also access BOM, which stands for Bill of Materials. So if I pressed on item ID, for example, and I chose the item that I have created here, it showed the item name, which is Raw Material 7. And I can also create a billing of material here. Once I press, it will ask me about all of the information required. So basically, if you have a billing of material, you can insert it from here. And once you are done inserting it, you will find that all these cells are, will be automatically updated. So basically, you can see that the current stock is the same that we inserted in uh, the product uh, section. In the, in the inventory section, sorry. You can also find uh, all these information which we have just updated. And now all this information will be updated once you create your billing of material. So uh, once you are done, you can press on submit. You can also add a new row from here to add more production order. So once you are done here, you can filter your own uh, production order based on the process stage, on the status or on the type. Now the next tab is payments. So here the rest of the tabs are pretty self-explanatory. So we will not just um, uh, we will not explain them into more details. I will just mention every specific one. Payments, for example, uh, controls all your payments uh, credentials and issues. Here you can access on reports. You can also access on resource planning, approvals, accounting integration, where you can link your own uh, tra uh, let's transact with other applications, uh, third-party applications, I mean. Here we can also access on buyers and suppliers. You can create a supplier the same way that we did before when we created a dummy supplier. And here you can access more settings. So basically that's it. That is how you can easily use Transact. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.